Hi everyone! So my name is Carlisa Carson and I have been in the military for 17 years now. I can't believe it actually. I'm hearing that out loud. 17 long years. Um, anyway, time flies. We all know that. But I originally uh, did Army ROTC at Georgia Tech and I commissioned as a military intelligence officer. And after being a military intelligence officer for a while, I um, became a judge advocate, which is what we call the uh, lawyers for the military, judge advocates, or some people will say JAGs, like the TV show JAG. And after serving in the Army for uh, nine years, I switched to the Air Force, and I'm currently in the Air Force now as a JAG. And really, I've learned that people have a whole lot of questions about the military because they have a son or a daughter or a cousin or whatnot that wants to go into the military, or maybe you yourself want to go into the military. So I just have, I've received a lot of questions about the Army, the Air Force, uh, being a judge advocate, being a military intelligence officer, you know, the training required, the scholarships that are available. And I get so many questions about this that I thought it would be useful uh, just to put up a quick video on YouTube uh, to talk about my experience and to answer some questions. And I'm not a YouTuber at all, so this is just a no-frills um, informational video. Um, and if you have questions, feel free to leave uh, comments below. Again, I'm not a YouTuber, so um, I'm, I'm not a, a professional at uh, creating YouTube videos. So this is really just to just be a quick, uh, simple, informational video for you guys. And I think I'll upload several shorter videos because um, I know we all uh, have limited time and our attention spans are not that great these days. So I'm going to try to upload several just 10 15 minute videos for you guys. Okay, so with all that out of the way, uh, let's get to some, some important stuff. So one thing that always comes up is, uh, if I join the army, do I have to go to the gas chamber? <laughs> okay, let me tell you, the gas chamber, it's a life altering experience, okay? I'm not gonna lie, the gas chamber is hands down a life altering experience, okay? I have been to the gas chamber multiple times and if you join the army, you too can go to the gas chamber multiple times, okay? Let me tell you about my very first experience with the gas chamber. So, first of all, they teach you how to wear your mop gear, so that is your you know, chemical gear. They teach you how to put it on, take it off, and they try to describe what the experience is going to be like, but of course no one can describe it. Like, it's, you have to experience to truly know. You have to experience it to truly know what it's about. But anyway, so you go through some training, and then finally, right, it's time to go into the gas chamber after like half a day of training. And so you should feel prepared, but you don't feel prepared anyway. So they get you into the gas chamber, probably about 10 people or so, sometimes more, sometimes less. And one by one, they brought us up. They asked us to remove our masks and say our social security numbers and our name and whatever else. I was standing behind this guy, right? I was right behind him, so I had to, after him, take my mask off. This dude takes his mask off, has a complete, full-on come apart, drops to his knees, is gagging, and, and again, I'm standing behind him in line, right? So I'm next. <laughs> I'm the guy on deck, right? And he just fell apart. And so then they get to me and they're like, okay, take your mask off. Did you not just see what happened to the man in front of me? The man on the floor throwing up? He is not living his best life right now. Is it, is it my turn? You, now it's my turn to take my mask off. Uh, so, you know, in this moment, right, I'm thinking I'm, the army's not for me. Nope, nope, not going to do it. Nope. The army's not for me, right? <laughs> um, and, and again, I just, I can't, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You know what I mean? I'm not going to sugarcoat it. The gas chamber, it sucks. I took my mask off. I was able to say my name 
um, and not much more than that before I started involuntarily coughing and my eyes were burning. Oh, the burning is so bad, guys. The burning is so bad. Um, but I did not fall to my knees. I didn't throw up. Oh, gosh, I still remember that moment, though, because <laughs> when the guy in front of me completely fell apart and then they looked at me and they were like, okay, it's time for you to take off your mask. It's like, I'm sorry, what did you just ask me to do? <laughs> uh, so anyway, but I survived it. Everyone else in the gas chamber survived it, and you will survive it too. Um, and even though it's intense burning and it's intense, you know, constant coughing, um, it does pass. Like you leave the gas chamber, you, you walk into fresh air, uh, you walk around, and sure enough, uh, the side effects start to subside. Um, so you're not going to die. Um, it's not going to be the worst experience you've ever felt. Um, and also, I read this, and it's, I thought it was interesting. Some people actually develop an immunity to CS gas. Um, so I didn't know whether to believe this or not, but no joke, by the third time I had to go to the gas chamber, I took my, my, my uh, mask off and I was just like a total boss, okay? I was like, my name is such and such, my social security number is such and such, and I'm in the army. And um, they were like, okay, you can go. Because <laughs> they, it actually did not have much of an effect on me. Uh, the third time I was in the gas chamber and talked to some other people who have been more than once and my guess is their experience is similar. Um, but anyway, CS gas is no joke, okay? Um, but if you do have to go more than once, just know that um, you can. It is possible to reach a point where you've built up almost an immunity to it. Um, and then of course, and now I don't know if it's a good thing to say that, oh, I'm immune to the CS gas. That's probably not the best point to be at in your life. <laughs> um, uh, but anyway, uh, you will be fine. Now, another thing is if you go the ROTC route, you will have to go to, um, in the Army anyways, uh, a month-long training course. And it's all about leadership development and assessment. And it's not basic training, but you do a lot of the same activity. So you will go on long road marches. You'll have to, of course, take and pass the physical fitness test. And you'll sleep outside in the woods. And you won't get a shower for at least five days and all of that. But part of that um, overall training includes... Uh, <laughs> some combat water survival <laughs> and so you know they make you do things like walk off of a 20-foot diving board blindfolded with your weapon and you know these activities are designed to give you like courage and confidence and um, it, it just gave me water in my nose and ears y'all I gotta be entirely honest I do not think I'm a more confident person having been through combat water survival training <laughs> um, there is one point uh, during this you know course where you have to in your full like uniform boots and everything you have to get into the swimming pool and like swim 400 or 800 meters I don't know if you've ever jumped into a swimming pool fully clothed with like your shoes on and everything. Oh my gosh. I was not prepared for that experience. Let me just tell you. I got in that swimming pool and I thought I could swim y'all. I thought I could swim. I got in that swimming pool and life just hit me real hard. I, um, I was flailing about, you know, wondering how I suddenly gained like what felt like a hundred pounds. I mean, and they were like, go, go, go. People are cheering you on and I'm huffing and puffing thinking I'm not going to make it. I'm not at one point in the middle of that swimming pool. I saw Jesus. Okay. I don't know what other people saw. I saw Jesus at one point in the middle of that swimming pool. So <laughs> If there's one thing I can tell you, if you're going to do the ROTC route, be prepared because you will go to the gas chamber no matter how you come into the Army, ROTC, basic training, whatever. You are going to go to the gas chamber, so prepare yourself mentally for that. 
And if you go the ROTC route, you will have to do some water combat survival <laughs> uh, training. Um, so get into a swimming pool before, <laughs> before you have to do that leadership development course. Try to swim around with you know, your clothes on, your shoes, um, and just prepare uh, physically. Um, because it's not uh, just about um, mental strength. Uh, it's about uh, mental, emotional, and physical strength. Um, so just right off the bat, uh, yes, you will have to go to the gas chamber. Yes, it sucks. Yes, you will survive. If I can do it, you can do it. Trust me on that. Um, and then make sure you get in a swimming pool and, and spend some time there if you are gonna go the ROTC route. That way you can be sure to do the uh, water combat survival course and, and pass with flying colors. I did pass, <laughs> thankfully. Um, I still don't know how I did pass, but I did. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna upload a couple more videos uh, later on and get more into the specifics because of course there are different ways you can come into the military. You can come in through ROTC like I did, um, or you can just go enlist if you wanna do that, or you can do something called a direct commission. And a lot of times graduates of law school or medical school will come in through direct commission. Um, there's also a health scholarship program for those that are like in pharmacy school. Um, so we'll get into all of that and I'll just try to give you guys as much information as possible and uh, I'll also talk a little bit about you know why I decided to go from Army to Air Force um, you know I, I was in the Army for nine years and then just decided it was time to aim high right so I went to the Air Force and that's what I'm doing now um, but I've got experience with both branches which is great because it helps me uh, answer questions about the Air Force and the Army and um, again I was a military intelligence officer I was a judge advocate so I can answer questions specifically related to those uh, military occupational specialties and um, you know, the promotion process, uh, the pay, um, anything that you guys have questions about that you, know, you want answers to, if I can answer, I'm happy to do that. Um, and I see now we're already running up on close to 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go for now. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you found it useful. Um, and again, I'm gonna upload some other videos soon. Um, that are just going to be informational uh, sessions that uh, hopefully you guys can, can take away some, some knowledge, some information, and uh, hopefully um, it'll help you decide whether the military is right for you. So until next time.